Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Everyday Joy podcast. I'm your host, Ash Owen, and I cannot wait to find moments of joy with you today. Now, if you aren't already, you should head over to Facebook, type in Everyday Joy podcast community and become a member of the podcast group. We have been having some great chats over the last few days. People like Andrea and Kylie, we've all been giggling about Jackie's hilarious uh, road rage intervention. So if you want to find out more about that, why don't you click the link in the show notes and you can become a part of all the fun. Let's dive into today's Words to Live By. So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. That's the first part of Matthew 7, verse 12 in the New International Version of the Bible. Jackie. Ash. So good to be recording. We are in our comfy clothes today. We have just literally rolled off the couch and into the recording studio. Correct. When Jackie arrived in the studio today, I just looked at her outfit and I went, Jackie, we got the same memo. We're both in our yep. comfies. We're yeah. both in our in our runners. We're both mm-hmm. in our... I, I was saying to Jack, I was like, I chucked like a trench coat over my leggings so that it looked semi-professional, but uh, I'm literally just wearing... And I brushed my hair and put my eyebrows on. So that was the win. So we're ready to go. Yeah. A win's a win, you know? Win's a win. A win's a win. Take it. I must, I must make the point. And if you don't live in Melbourne, I'm so sorry, but I must say it's like the moment April hit. Mm -hmm. We went into autumn. We went into autumn, autumn. maybe even bringing on to winter. It's, (laughs) it's, it's been a time. We're looking at this verse in Matthew. Yep. In everything, do to others as you would have them do to you. I feel like this is a classic verse. Oh, absolutely. However, how often do we not action it out? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> right? Like how often do we, you know, I would say most of us have probably heard this verse or even people who aren't Christian, even people who yeah. aren't familiar. Yeah. It's like a saying, isn't it? Yeah, you know, absolutely. You know, it's treat others rule. the way you want to be treated. It is yeah. a bit of a golden rule of, you yeah. know, relationships and talking to people. And, and being about in the world. Exactly. Like, yeah. But how often, whether it's us personally or we see it in, in different scenarios, is it not? well lived out or easily lived Mm. out when we're frustrated disappointed confused flustered sometimes maybe just when we're a little bit too tired (laughs) oh gosh yes my goodness yeah in the lead up to the wedding I had some moments where maybe I should have read this verse before I acted or spoke not that I was really mean to anybody I my mum used to drum this into us when we were kids Mm -hmm. and we didn't grow up like in a particularly Christian household but this was just one of her things like you know this is how you be a good person but yes there have been moments of late where perhaps I could have read this perhaps (laughs) Perhaps. not Jackie though (laughs) not Ash no no, neither of us would ever do that (laughs) no but we all have moments and that's and that's why we need verses like this. Absolutely. We need verses yeah. like this to remind us, bring us back in, yeah. wind us back in yeah. to the <laughs> to have those thoughts of going, okay, no, I need to treat people the way that yeah, like you know, that that moment where you just like slow your roll, chick. Yeah, you know, you're you're going off on a tangent. You're a little bit upset. Take a breather, reset. I mean, we talked about this the, the yeah. reset the other day, mm-hmm. right? And this is perfect example of one of those verses you can carry about with you have on your lock screen have it yeah you know memorize because we all need the reset yeah Yeah. you know it really says to me that god wants us to live with an outward focus the one caring for each other looking after each other you know yeah being kind and gentle and empathetic and we were kind of talking earlier i i was telling you that i heard this quote once um and it was this idea that you know we we judge ourselves by our intention but we judge others by their action. I need to make sure that I'm actively living out this verse. I need to think about how I would want someone to treat me. I want to, I want to be intentional and make sure that I'm not just reactive, but actually thinking about how it affects someone else. Yeah. And I read, um, I read a post, I follow a guy on social media, um, talks a lot about um, how how we work out, work our faith mm. and, you know, really digs deep into some of the Hebrew words and, you know, really good Bible scholar. Um, and he had a quote up on his Instagram not so long ago that was oh, something along the lines of, um, it's not just about how I treat the people I go to church with. Mm. 
it's not just how about how I treat the people who I like or who like me. It's about how I treat the people who, you know, have no opinion about me whatsoever. But even more so, it's about how I treat the people who don't like me. Yeah. And this is exactly totally. what this verse is speaking to. It's easy to be nice to your friends. Right. And there's 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 a verse about that too, isn't there? Mm, there often is. <laughs> yeah, there, there often is, you know. <laughs> um, but it also led me to think that about how we can outlive this on social media. Mm. Because let's be honest, like we all read the comments. Oh yeah. <laughs> It stresses me out, to be totally honest. Yeah. I find it hard reading through comments these days. Yeah. And it's it's what you're filling your head with as mm. well. So, you know, if you're not going to say it to somebody's face, don't type it in the comments section. Don't DM somebody, you know, and say, oh, I think you're wrong. I think you're an idiot. I think you're this. I think you're that. Or you're wrong and you're this and you're that. And, you know, treat them like you would treat anybody else treat them like how you would want them to if you posted something that they didn't like how would you want to be spoken to Mm. like you don't know half of what's going on in their world you don't know their intention um you don't know you know what they think they're communicating you're seeing it through your lens and so this is exactly what this you know and it's so prevalent at the moment how impacted people are and how almost brave it is at the moment to put yourself out there and to say anything about anything because you get people coming for you. Yeah. Don't do it, people. Come yeah. On, be nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's so true. It's one thing to kind of kind of apply this to our media circles, people that we yeah. talk to, but it's this faceless interaction yeah. that can happen online. And it's so funny that we started talking about this because I had a hilarious, well, I say it's hilarious because I come from it from a very isolated point of view yeah but basically i've been following these uh youtubers slash influencers slash they have a podcast they're hilarious they're so much fun i love consuming their content now um the husband matt has just started to release music he i know from you know following them from a long time he's studied music at college like all of these things right and so now that he's, you know, got this platform, he's releasing music. And I came across a short on his Instagram. I was just scrolling through the other day. And it was a new song that he had written. The whole song was him dealing with exactly what this is. You oh, know, wow. he was kind yeah. of just saying, like, I literally have anxiety and stress around the fact that yeah. so many people verbalize their dislike for how we parent how we live our lives or whatever it is and the whole premise of this song is him being like you don't have to follow me like like if you want to unfollow me (laughs) go for it he's like I'm not gonna be offended I'm not gonna be upset but just don't criticize my marriage my family all these things when you don't know me and I was like okay I'm gonna read these comments I went through the comments and I have never been more just upset by things that people were saying and like I don't know this man these people don't know this man however the way they were talking about his family his his partner just saying the most horrendous things Mm. and um and then basically everyone's basically basically everyone was just saying you know he shouldn't be doing this he's terrible at singing which I disagree with but anyway (laughs) um and I just kind of read it and went, it's the first time I think I've given the comment section the light of day in a long time, you know, like I actually sat there and I read through them and I was heartbroken Yeah, purely by the way that people were treating this person. Yeah. Someone they don't know. Yeah. Someone they obviously follow or interact with or even if they don't, a human being right. who has a life, who has a family, who has children. Like, I think that, I think that we need to re like personify yeah. our social medias and our and our just taking the time to go. Hey, Jackie, you're a person. Yeah. Whoever's listening to this, you're a person who deserves respect and love and care and yeah. empathy. But we need to remember, we need to treat people yeah. the way that God Absolutely. asks us to. In everything, do to others what you would want them to do totally. to you. Totally. Don't change anything. 
yeah. by treating people unkindly. Absolutely. Ever. Yeah. Ever. Like I know for myself, I, I don't spend as long now. Like I had to train myself to not be quite so pedantic mm. about it. But if I write an email or if I write a text message, I review it. Yeah. Like I'm not saying I spend five minutes. <laughs> I'm saying I take three seconds yes. and read it back over. Yeah. Not just for sell it spelling mistakes because I am a little bit of a, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. I like my English. I like it to be correct. Um, but it to also make sure it's, a going to be easily understood Mm -hmm. my intent is clear or my message is clear and that it's hopefully not going to be misinterpreted i think that's a great thought jackie and i think to close this up i think that's our action today absolutely yeah to you know take a moment to reconsider what we're saying yeah you as, you, as your thumb hovers over totally. that. Totally. <laughs> and you know what? I think that if we can get anything out of today, one, to ensure that we treat people the way that God asks us to, you know, yeah. do to others as you would have them do to you. Yeah. But learning how to understand where people are at, to yeah. treat people the way that we would want to be treated, yeah changes the way conversations can go and be and be have yeah and again it all comes back to jesus yeah like you know how did jesus walk totally what was his intentionality how did he treat people you know how can i be more like jesus in my everyday life and this is exactly one of those things So in everything, do to others as you would have them do to you i love chatting with jack today you know We've all been there. We've all had moments, whether we've seen it, read it, or maybe we've been the ones who haven't been so considerate. We need to take the time to be intentional, loving and treating people the way Jesus asks us to. All those things Jack said are so perfect. Whatever you're dealing with today, whatever you're going through, maybe you're going to be in a situation where you need to work on these skills today. Bring Jesus in. Ask the Holy Spirit, Lord, give me the wisdom to speak. Lord, give me the wisdom to be silent when I need to. And Lord, help me to treat others the way that I would want to be treated. Cannot wait to dive even deeper into the Word of God with you tomorrow. But until then, I pray you're able to find moments of joy 